So let's start. It's nine o'clock. And the next part will come soon. Um, welcome to this early hour to my talk for certifications. I want to speak a little bit about the work we have done. We also have done this work the last two years where we implemented such a uh, certification, certification review process for um, for professional trainers and migrators. I want to tell something about the uh, process we have implemented for certification, uh, for getting certification. And I want to speak a little bit about uh, arguments and win-win, the win-win situation, um, why you should do such a certification and why it is uh, positive for each part of uh, this process. Um, and as I wrote uh, the, the um, summarize summar for the talk, afterwards I remember, well, this is not just a win-win, it's a win-win-win. So there's a third part in this game who wins also of this certification. And um, I took it in the, uh, in the talk, uh, that's customer. The end user who is looking for trainers and migrators, and uh, of such a process, they have also a win of uh, this uh, process. So, just that's me. <laughs> I'm the uh, managing director of the Research Applications. Just a few words we are working in the uh, free office area <coughs> since 2000 2001. This was the uh, first year when Sun was uh, releasing Star Office and Star Office to Open Office. And uh, we were the first German speaking migration partner with uh, Sun Hamburg, where the Star Division was sitting in, in uh, Hamburg. And we have done a lot of work with them and a lot of migration projects. Uh, so our track record in migrations, in trainings, and all of this stuff around these projects is now 15, a little bit less than 15 years old, and uh, we have seen a lot of uh, such projects and a lot of uh, service guys who want to give uh, consultancy to it and um, are able to. Uh, to discharge such a project, so we have got some experience in these projects. So, about what certifications we speak here uh, this morning, <coughs> there are, uh, uh, in general uh, speaking, there are four kinds of legal office certification you can get. This is, these are the four, uh, first of all, and they were uh, for the um, uh, first time uh, you, you could get a uh, certification as a professional developer. Um, this is a slightly different process apart from this I want, uh, I want to talk because uh, um, it is on uh, invitation. So the core developers, there's a, also a, a team who, uh, who looks uh, about the uh, commitments uh, some guy gave to to uh, LibreOffice, and they and then they decide um, to to ask him, hey, you are great, you give uh, to LibreOffice such um, commitments, uh, commits, and uh, do you want to be a certified professional developer? And with this qualification, you are able and uh, allowed to bring in uh, commits to the core, to the LibreOffice core. So they know from where these commits come uh, for into the core. But this is a part where I'm not uh, speaking because it's a slightly different uh, process. And after this was in place, uh, we thought that it could be a good idea to have such thing, such a process, such, such a certification um, for the um, migrators and for the professional trainers. Um, and uh, the third one, uh, is a professional supporter or supporting a person who is able to give different levels of uh, support um, for such a deployment, for such a 
bigger deployment in a uh, professional organization. But the uh, professional supporter is not uh, in place right now. So it's two certificates I'm talking about. It's uh, high traders and trainers. Um, so what should they uh, do with, uh, as a creator and as a trainer? What is meant if we talk about uh, this guy who is a migrator or trainer? Uh, for, for the migrator, it's, uh, he coordinates the migration process from a proprietary office suite to micro office to manage the change in all aspects. And as I say that, uh, every word in this uh, sentence counts. Yeah. It's not just to uh, implement LibreOffice uh, anywhere and say, okay, now you can use it, uh, but it's a lot more of uh, challenges in such a project. For one uh, special point, um, in every bigger deployment, you have to manage change. There are a lot of resistance they use, mostly Microsoft Office, and ask, why well, should I change now? Why should I go to another office suite and uh, uh, use, use it? And, um, we, there are a lot of aspects with such a change project, because it's really a change project, and it's uh, mostly, even in, in, um, in uh, uh, companies, underestimated this project, uh, what it means to change the, the office suite, um, and you have to handle this. One of the experience we have uh, in the first uh, one and a half year of this uh, migrator certification is that there are two kinds of, of people who are doing this, who are doing the, the professional migrator certification. The one guy is more technical orientated and the, and the other guy is more project management, change management, uh, the typical management kind of thing uh, orientated. So you can cover both under this, but should, should know a little bit of both. So a uh, managing guy who don't know what is LibreOffice and what is the, the modules, uh, uh, they, they could not be a professional um, migrator. And the other way around, who don't know to manage change and to give information and what it needed for such a change management process, it's uh, not a uh, uh, professional migrator. And it's the same kind for the trainer. <coughs> Even here, each word is, is important. Teach the user of LibreOffice at basic, intermediate, or advanced level. All three levels should be covered in somehow way. Um, this means that uh, um, you should uh, do trainings for each uh, module in LibreOffice and uh, that um, especially the, the first part of such a training maybe uh, uh, about planning planning and organizing such a training is also um, a, a task of uh, such a professional trainer so if you if you have a uh, training in a company the, the first thing you have to do is what do you need or what do, do the end users need uh, for the trainings in the company and uh, after you get this information, you have to plan how much uh, trainings and what is part of the training and so on. Uh, and to differentiate between um, two or three levels, mostly two levels, uh, from the end user, uh, with perhaps a part for the administration of this office suite, and give them different uh, trainings. You know, because uh, and a power user uh, is mostly uh, uh, able uh, to do some text work and uh, he looks at the menu and oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, but he wants to know, for example, how to do a macro or how to uh, do a, a mail merger or something. Yeah? Okay, that's different. And even to do some uh, training materials, it's not just information, it's also uh, the training with some documents, uh, caring about their documents in the, in the company, perhaps uh, take the, the company documents for trainings and so on.
So what is the certification program like? The main focus is for consultants with experience in LibreOffice projects. It is not yet uh, for, for newbies, or as we discussed, for, for end users. It's, um, it's for some, some uh, con consultants which have a track record, a little bit of a track record with LibreOffice. Uh, it should not be, or this process now implemented is uh, nowadays not for newbies. It, perhaps it will be some someone, uh, some, uh, not someone, in any time later. Uh, but now it is for for consultants who have uh, a little bit of a track record with such projects in LibreOffice, have done some trainings, have uh, done a migration project in a company, uh, and so on. And as I said, it's not um, uh, the certification itself, it certifies people and not corporations. Later on, perhaps we will have uh, something like this, like a Hebrew Office Competence Center in a, in a company, but uh, in, in uh, this stage, we just certify people uh, and they get the certification. And the company can say, okay, we have a, a, a consultant who who is certified and can do the, such projects, but uh, it is not a, a certification for a, for a company. Um, what was the idea out of, and this is one or two arguments from the win from, from the document foundation side, what was the idea behind? The idea behind it was that certified professions have the objective of extending the reach of the community to the corporate world. And if you look here and see all these uh, kinds of t-shirts, uh, blue one, red one, other ones, uh, you see it, it's working. <laughs> it's working. So the, the community is uh, broad and is wider um, with more of uh, consultancy firms, uh, part of customers, and so on. And uh, this, is, this is working very well. Um, as, as a certified professional in the office, you are seen as an ambassador, and that's really important uh, because you, you have to sign it, you have to sign that, do, that you are not doing uh, bad words about LibreOffice and so on. It's not, not kind of a, 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 a great thing, but uh, we want to know that you are committed to LibreOffice, and that's the main thing, because <clears throat> there are uh, some... Um, uh, issues, you will be listed on a an, on an website and so on, and uh, it, it would be a problem for LibreOffice or TDF um, if you, uh, you are not uh, uh, kindly uh, for LibreOffice. Yeah, you should provide uh, value-added professional services uh, for growing this LibreOffice system, and uh, it's uh, also the meaning of growing so that the uh, the uh, brand of LibreOffice is uh, is uh, going out in, in other countries and other um, uh, companies and so on, so that the, the community is growing even with uh, consultants and uh, corporate deployments. Uh, the second argument, um, it, it was implemented to, uh, to have a benchmark for the quality of services. So that is the, the idea behind that we, in the first step, do not a newbie certification, but um, with a, a certification with a track record. So that, you, that uh, if anybody asked, uh, can you tell me about a certifi certified uh, consultant, uh, that there is a, a minimum level of uh, quality in the services in know-how, in process, such a project, and so on. Yeah, and that's what, what uh, you've mentioned. Uh, the idea behind is that it's uh, organized worldwide. We have some uh, work tools to do it everywhere in the world. For example, we're doing these review sessions I will, I will talk about. Uh, we are Hangout, so Google Hangout is a, is a tool so that we can go to, to another uh, country or something like this. But uh, really we have to say it's, 
uh, a little uh, in uh, nowadays it's regional depending on language issues and and so on uh, but the idea behind uh, is to roll out uh, everywhere you want okay so I hope it works um, next question you can ask is okay that's fine I have such a a little bit of track record in, in LibreOffice migration or training, how can I get such a certification? And there's one web um, page where I think all, it's not just one, <laughs> this one is uh, the important one, where all informations, I couldn't summarize all these informations in, in half an hour, in this documentfoundation.org certification. And uh, if you have a look at it, I hope it will work. Yeah, that's it. And uh, if you go down, you see a lot of information about the brand description certification. Some of the words I've said uh, in the introduction. Uh, even here are some PDFs which are explaining uh, the prerequisites I will uh, talk about in the next minutes a little bit. Uh, and here is a link where you find the application form. There is an application form where you just wrote in your name, your address, your email address, and some more details I, I'm telling about. And um, uh, this is the, the place to go when you want to, to see uh, additional information. Okay, this is an issue, and if you know how to handle this issue, it's a part to be a certified uh, migrator. <laughs> so, certification uh, prerequisites. As I said, you, you should have a little bit of track record, and with the application form, you are asked to, to demonstrate some documents or something like this, which show what you have done in, in such a migration project or or uh, for trainers or so on. The documents I can tell you are handled, um, what means, uh, you can have the trust that they are not going out, they are handled secure. So um, if there are informations which are covered from, from corporate, uh, they should not spread away. Uh, or if this is a problem, you can uh, get out and, um, a summary of it and present it uh, on a document, and um, it should be yeah it should be uh, out of the of the discipline or you or if there is one TDF member who can um, uh, trust or or, or can, or can uh, give as a supporter can support you and say yes I know that this guy and he did some projects over there and I know it was positive and so on uh, these are uh, two requisites. And um, you have to, to show these documents uh, with the application form. I will show you this application form. Yeah, it's working. So here are again some, some informations about these uh, prerequisites, uh, about the peer-to-peer -peer review. Uh, this is the uh, certification code of the, uh, the code of the conduct I mentioned that you have to say, okay, I'm committed to LibreOffice um, and with the, with the uh, values, strong values and so on. Um, uh, the, the description for the peer-to-peer -peer review migration and training protocol, I, I will tell you what this is. So you, you will find here some more information and uh, if you scroll down, you will see here such application where you have to uh, insert your, your name and uh, what uh, kind of certification you want to uh, applicate, applicate and, um, and to attach all these uh, documents, these first documents to this application form. Uh, so the, the um, these documents then were checked mostly in, in for the uh, last one and a half year, the Italo and Sophie, if you know the community, you know Italo, you know Sophie, 
uh, they have the first look on it and say, ah, okay, that's fine. Um, I have a question there and I have a question there. <coughs> and um, they verify uh, uh, such documents uh, because you can't go to the whole uh, um, group of reviewers to say, hey, have a look, and everybody is looking on these documents. So um, Italo and Sophie verifying such documents. And normally, this was the experience, they doing a first talk to the, uh, to the applicant that uh, they are talking about these uh, documents and saying, hey, you have um, uh, applicated for, for two, for my trade and trainers, so there's missing uh, a document for the training, so please give me uh, another document with an example for training material and so on. And afterwards, um, uh, this uh, is, is okay for, it, for Italo and Sophie. Um, we, um, we plan an appointment, and this could be face-to-face um, -face uh, for such conference uh, like here, so that we have one or two hours with the candidate um, uh, besides such a conference. Uh, last we did in, uh, by Fostem in, in Brussels. Um, next one, I, I didn't know when it will happen. Or we will use for, for such uh, other things uh, in uh, Google Hangout so that we could have a connection and um, do the review, the peer-to-peer -peer review via Hangout. Um, it's mostly in English. Uh, if, if we use Hangout, it is somewhere in the world and <laughs> the most common language is English, so we try to do it in English and it worked very, very well. Um, and we, we try to have in such a conversation uh, a native speaker uh, with, with us in the, in the Hangout, so if there are problems with the language that he can translate or help for some, some uh, things. <coughs> so, uh, two ways to do this uh, review, uh, perhaps by Hangout or besides such a <coughs> conference where we meet face to face. Yeah, I told you that there are two uh, different, or that there are groups are doing such uh, certifications and the review committee. So uh, this uh, committee above is uh, thinking about the process and, and managing the documents for questions in the re uh, review um, session and so on. And these, and the second, uh, the, the important one, are the, the, uh, the people who have uh, agreed to do such uh, face-to-face uh, -face reviews or uh, hangout reviews, asking questions. They're getting the documents and if they have uh, um, questions to the documents or they prepare uh, questions out of a uh, questionnaire we have done 500 questions or something like this for each module, for each aspect of migrations or trainings and um, <clears throat> three to five people out of this uh, committee are in such a uh, review, and each of them are able to ask questions. We, um, hope, normally it goes after, afterwards. And after one hour or something like this, they say, okay, I'm convinced you are a, a, a guy who have knowledge in the modules, in the training, in the migration process, and change management, or what, what, you, what the applicant you is in your work. Um, and as I said, in, in nowadays we are able to handle review process because of the language issue uh, in these uh, language English, Danish, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Portuguese and Spanish and I'm, it's not, no, no Chinese, no Asia language, so we should talk and, and uh, have something like this for Asia and, and so on. Yeah, the referee committee is three to five persons out of the group of dis discussing uh, prepared questions. Um, these questions are permanently under work. Uh, so if one have one question and say, ah, I get, uh, they want me to show uh, mail merge, uh, then it must not be that uh, the next one have also to do the mail merge. So it's, it's the questions are in, in change. Um, and they are uh, orientated on the migration protocol and, and on the training protocol. If you've seen this website, uh, there was uh, one PDF, the training protocol, and one PDF for the migration protocol. And it is my um, 
uh, my tip to, to look at uh, in this document because the questions are around these themes who are discussed in these two PDFs and they are very good uh, um, uh, uh, texts uh, and so on. Yeah, after the committee have approved the certification, you will get such a kind of paper with a stamp on it and you can show, okay, I'm a certified trainer or my creator or and my creator. Um, but afterwards, this certification will last for a defined period. We have, I think we have discussed that this is um, for the moment 24 months. Uh, and afterwards, uh, you have to uh, you have to have another peer-to-peer -peer review about activities uh, you have done during this period. So the committee you want to see that's going on. That's not just the, especially in the training area, not not so much in the migration area, but in the training area, LibreOffice is evolving and uh, things are changing. Hey, call things are changing and and so on. So after 24 months, you have to be. And uh, there's another uh, important thing. Uh, afterwards, you are certified. Um, you will be listed on the LibreOffice website. I feel the, the um, address, web address. So uh, as our experience was, a lot of companies and so on are looking on this list and seeing, ah, OK, it's uh, uh, certified uh, people and getting contact with them if they want to do such a project, migration project, or if they need trainings and so on. I have to look a little bit hurry up. Yeah. So what are the win-wins? As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, for the customers, I think it's obvious to 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 uh, talk about it. But I try to summarize this. Um, for larger deployments, uh, it, it is. Uh, uh, for every project needed to have added values uh, for the product launch and also for the for the time where they are using. So they are looking for my creators and trainers and are very happy to to see such a list and get uh, information about who is able to uh, do such things with experience with a track record. Uh, they know it's a proven quality um, of the certi certified people. And um, yeah, they are. Uh, they they get ideas and solutions and experience out of quite similar projects uh, in other. Um, uh, every nobody want to be companies are thinking nobody want to be the first one who are doing uh, such a migration project. So they are all looking for experience. What were the problems you you have managed in, in the other companies? Okay, they are ready. What are the uh, win-win for the community? Well, we have two uh, important arguments seen in, in one of the uh, um, first slides. It's important, the, it's the growth of the ecosystem and it's the, the certifying uh, people are bridges, bridges for getting information about what is needed in companies in large deployments of and they are bringing as they then are a part of the community bringing in information about uh, pros and cons and where are shortfalls uh, these uh, stuff to work with uh, group um, policies from Microsoft uh, 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 operating systems and so on these are uh, things coming out there um, growing the ecosystems, uh, getting, getting a new part in the community, um, and, and an important one is getting uh, proper handling of issue tracking process. So if there is an, uh, is there an uh, issue which is in the, in the uh, company scene, that this is uh, handled in the, in the bug tracker of LibreOffice. Uh, and the last one, are the applicants, what is the uh, main uh, win for the applicants? Um, their track record they have done is rewarded. It's testified so uh, they can uh, have, uh, in consequence, a higher market value and uh, a higher market share, perhaps. So you are the first guy who is asked, uh, can you help me in such a project uh, and so on. 
future activities processes in place, so we have to doing this process more. Um, we want to have new regions uh, in the world, cover new regions, have to do more marketing about the certification process. Um, and um, even, but, but this will not be tomorrow or, or even uh, next year, training for newbies or this training for candidates and newbies are getting these uh, support certification in place. This uh, will be a future uh, task uh, where we will uh, work on the next uh, months. So this was in half an hour short time to uh, say something about the certification process. If you're interested, uh, you have seen all the names, but you can also go to the websites I've shown. Um, and we would be happy to hear more uh, applicants and help them to get the certification. Thank you very much for the audience.